And fingers crossed this stream works out well. Because like I said already, the Rusting Hulk seems to be going amazingly well for the first uh, island. And I don't know if I want to go with a four island victory because technically you can do the final battle at any point after you do two islands I think. So the plan at least is to try and finish off this playthrough tonight. And then I might do one more stream on hard difficulty with the Rusting Hulks again. Depending on if I do succeed. Otherwise I might just go hard difficulty with just maybe the regular group. Either way I really want to try hard difficulty before I move on to something else there because we're nearing April and I am looking forward to April because there's some games there's a game I'm looking forward to but nonetheless what do I have already let's see we got to work on the storm generator we have movement speed to start building up too but I think I will double sync on the range bonus for now let's focus on the damage so at least now this jet is able to do three damage when you consider the smoke thunderstorm that it invokes so that should be pretty damn potent. We do what? Two damage as well as a push. And then just push stuffs as well as a nice smoke pelt to cause lightning damage to everyone. And I'm really hoping, let's see, it says damages enemy units, although I'm still paranoid that might damage buildings if I'm not careful. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and have our restart or rewind on our turns available. But where do I want to go? Let's see, let's have a look. This is Spitter. They give health regeneration. What about this one? That's Hornets. Lots of Leapers. Lots of weak units. So that, that could be good, potentially. And that one gives extra health and... Well, they're all pretty much the same. The leader is the Beetle, beetle though, which should be really easy with the smoke screen. But I think I hunt down the Hornet. Let's try the, the Ice one. I feel really good about the composition the group we have to fight up against there. Especially now that my jet can do 3 damage. And maybe 3 damage to 2 targets if I can line them up nicely. But what do we have here? I think we definitely want to try for a 3 point uh, objective here. It's going to be tricky. And maximize on reputation. So I think we're just starting off left and doing these 3. And then I have to choose between getting some grid. So what would be the easiest to do? to start off with to try and get some more experience. Less than 4 mech damage, that sounds easy enough. Protect the coal plant. Nothing actually helps me from what I can tell. So let's go here and have a look and this has 2 mechs. It also has a tank there that I can utilize, okay. Oh, freeze and defend both robots is one of those missions. So I'm gonna have to do this mission regardless if I want to get at these two islands. So let's do it. Don't know how I feel about doing it right away, but the tanks could be useful, and they only have one health, so we gotta be mindful not to kill this thing off. And your movement is four, so you can go here. One, two, three, four. You can't get anything up there, so... I want to try and restrict their movement so they're not likely to go this way. That's my thought process. What does movement look like? Four, four... They all go movement four, I think. Whoop, I didn't want to swap you around, but... Ooh, the mech actually goes five. Oh yeah, you're my pilot, so that's why. You're my time traveler, that's what is, so. We'll have you up there. We'll block off that path. Maybe it encourages the, the bots to stay here. That's the idea, and it'll make it a lot more easy for the tank to start freezing them. So let's get started. This looks like an easy start for the moment. Now... We, without a doubt, have to stop you. That's an easy dodge, thankfully. In worst case, I could just push them. At least push this out of the way if that was problematic. The ice tank can freeze this, but I have to kill him first. Easy answer, though. Now it's the big question: How? Ooh, I don't want to. I don't want to shoot over this way though, because I push. But I could push you there. There is possibility because everything spawned that direction too. So I think I want to do this. Shoot, kill you, have a smoke screen over there. The only alternative is I would like to have a smoke screen at least surrounding these buildings to provide a little bit of protection, but I don't think that's possible. At least not yet. Only thing I could think of is maybe stand here and shoot. To maybe protect this one building, but we'll stick with this. I think this is a little bit better. It at least makes it awkward for him. I don't expect it to actually stop an attack or do damage. Unless I push them. But, you are now on ice. 
we can't kill this air unit, but I have a lot of health to kind of delay. And since, yeah, since there's no objective to kind of like minimize damage, let's take advantage of that. I do need to be very careful of its positioning, though. What kind of damage do you do? You do two damage. I'm worried about putting you being in a bad spot for me. Because if you go way back here... Wait, what's your movement? Only three. So worst case, you can only go here, which I don't... In all seriousness, I don't really want. Because I would love to just freeze you next turn if possible. Because my tank can only freeze here and here. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's one hex off. Not going to happen, but I think we're good. And I could, I could push it, but... Not possible now, and I'm not going to put smoke down, because that's just going to kill the mech. A lot of talking for no reason, just show... Ooh, I can repair. That's an idea. I don't know if it's actually helpful just yet, but it's an idea. Let's end our turn. A lot of talking for no reason, but just trying to get back into the groove of it. To kind of reacclimate myself with the squad. It's really what it comes down to. And you're going to be a pain in the ass, but I have an easy time freezing you, and I'm hoping... You also block the path for any effect. That's what I would love more than anything. You just keep deny the fact from walking through there because you're frozen. So that was easy as hell. Thank you, AI, for accommodating me. Now, I know you could do three damage. And my artillery... I'm just going to stand on here just to remind myself that... Oh, that I can't get, kill myself with these things. Because I do have the help for it anyway. Oh, smoke, that's why. I may not get damaged by it, but I sure as hell can get hurt by it. Or denied my attack. So this horn needs to die first if I'm going to go downward. So we'll do that. Protects this one building. Ooh, damn it. I forgot about that Cylon, Scion's ability. So that forces our hand a little bit. Rushed it a little bit. I didn't consider the Scion's ability. We still can easily kill it, and it does the, kind of the same thing I was hoping. It protects this building with a smoke. Although I was kind of hoping to destroy the horn so I can go down this way, but this will have to do. So kill the hornet. No way I can block that, but I think I want... Mm, I like a smoke screen here. Because this protects these, these two angles and there's only one direction it can attack. And it's right in the way of this freeze tank. So let's do that. And it shouldn't even damage me either. This is going to be a very powerful ability, considering the lightning storm. I feel like anyway. Especially when I can upgrade its damage potential, so... We're going to be letting three of them spawn, mind you, but... With all the health that they have, it's pretty straightforward. Hmm. That could be a bit of a problem, especially his placement, but I can freeze. I can at least freeze this one and shut him up. You can die. Mm, you will die, without a doubt, if I go and engage you. Ooh, this is awkward, too. I could fire and cancel it, and he dies anyway due to the lightning, but... And he does only one damage in his asset, so I could take that hit, too. That is a possibility. As well as push them into the mountains for additional damage. A little bit awkward. To say the least, but I think we're okay, regardless. We got smoke everywhere. Well, I think we, we haven't pushed them yet, but I want to move this air unit, so at least it's out of harm's way. I don't know where to quite put it, though, to be useful. Well, it could block a tunneler. Yeah, it could block one unit. It has the help for it, and frantic repairs is actually useful too in that regard. So push him, do additional damage, you will take a hit, and you will be on acid, but you'll be fine. I have faith in you. There, you're down. Take hit there, a little bit of acid on the ground, and that kind of blocks a little bit for me, especially for him. And you just immediately died to the jet if I can get to you. That's not entirely true, alas. But I do push you. Hmm. This may not work very well, but if I can... If I move you out of the way, you're fine. Freeze and defend both robots. That's the 
priority here. So do I have a way to do that? I could push him, but that doesn't help me. And if I go into smoke, I can't shoot. I would love to just deny its attack. But I can go here and freeze him. That doesn't help me a whole lot either. Hmm, I have a thought. But I don't think it helps me much because you got what, four movements? So one, two, three, four. You can't go there like I want. If you had the range upgrade, you actually could, funny enough. You just wouldn't be able to kill it. Not on your own, anyway. So I can push it. Take one grid damage. I can't quite freeze the building, so we gotta be careful of that. And I can shoot and kill you, but that doesn't help me either. Ooh, actually, mm, I can push it, but again, that doesn't help me. Let's see, five move, one, two, three, four, five, no. It doesn't help me in any way, so that leap... Hmm, can I push this in any way? I could, theoretically, I don't have to worry about that. Why, why am I worried about that? I could just re reapply the freeze. I'm worried that it might damage the building, mind you, with the lightning storm. But this kind of works. It keeps out of harm's way, I refreeze it. And you just get the hell out of the way. Simple as that. And what do I do with you? Well, you could have just killed that. For the sake of experience, I, w I think I just want to kill that. Just a shame I couldn't kill it and then move. Oh, well, you're fine either way. So do your damage. Oh, it's on ass as well, so that's actually... That didn't really make much of a difference, though. And I got the level up, so that was definitely worth it. And what's your... Oh, three grid defense, so not too exciting, but it's there. Alright. So we managed to make it through that with a lot of sinking. Because that was an awkward predicament for me. If nothing else... So, we get our reputation, we got a promotion, everything's looking good. Now we gotta get a max leveled out. Which shouldn't be too difficult. The jet max is probably gonna level up first because of its extra damage potential, so... Break five buildings out of ice, that's gonna be tricky with single base damage. Especially... I could push them, but I don't know how... I don't know how realistic this is, I think I need to save that for last in case of pod. To at least help me get a little more potential, because I'm not going to do it very well. Allies immune, plus one use. I'm trying to think if there's something I can do to help help me out in that mission, because this is going to be really difficult to break five buildings. Take less than three grid damage I should easily be able to do, and protect the robotics lab is easy enough. So let's defend the robots. Oh, these are the mine lane ones, so this one I'm familiar with. And it's not as cramped this time, thank god. That's actually pretty useful for me. Now, let's see, you can move everywhere but there, which may... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to move these. Oh, your artillery, so you don't matter. It doesn't matter where you go so long as you can shoot from in a straight line, so the jet... Can get there and leap if needed. So this should be pretty good. I'm hoping. I just gotta be careful. These things could just conveniently walk into my, my, my lightning cloud. That could just cost me reputation if the AI is dumb in this regard. You're an easy kill. Ooh, you're both easy kills. I see a double kill right here. Because I shoot you and push. Is that what I want to do? Is that the best option for me? Because I can easily kill the Hornet, and then you just block our spawn. So this sounds simple in theory. Is my positioning the best that I want, though? Well, I can't really get much better in all honesty, unless I want to back up. So let's shoot here. Is there a good experience in that regard? 
we finish off our friend and hope to god these mind bots do not walk into the gas cloud. That would really suck, but then again I can kind of push them. It's not how I would like to spin my mech's ability for a turn, but at least it can push them. Oh, and look what look what happened, damn it. And let's hmm, I don't know, are they friendly? This is something I seriously am curious about. Are these friendly? It's unaffected by smoke, but I hate to just tempt that. I feel like I have to push it out of the way just to be safe. And it really sucks. So with that said, don't really need to do much. Aside for blocking spawns, so let's put you back in the dang woods for your own safety. Because I'm not sure how safe you really are there. Although, to be fair, this thing, I might as well push it here because it's more than likely going to get blocked by that feck. And then it's just going to go back into the cloud, which I don't really want. Because I don't know what's going to happen, I don't dare want to find out. If I were to be serious, so. And I could shoot at that, create another gas cloud, probably not useful in all honesty. And only thing these repairs my walker. Or at least my uh, pusher mech. I forget what it's called. A pulse mech, maybe? So, I can easily deal with that. I don't know how far he can leap, though. They're running. They froze him. Perfect. That is an awful spot. I can push it out of the way still, though. With artillery, thank god. I can also smoke it. If worse, if push comes to shove. But I can't kill it with my jet. Not unless I want to push into a building, which I do not want to do, honestly. So fire, push. And I can block another spawn there, probably what I want to do. Will I kill this thing off? And that's basically a dead end for you because of the frost block, so I think I'm safe there. I'm hoping. And just repair, get your health back up. And please do not walk into the lightning storms. Okay, explosive scion. Let's remember that. And it's a flyer, of course, so we can fly over the ice blocks. God damn it. Do I have to babysit you? I'm really hoping I don't have to babysit you. But let's see. If I don't kill him, I don't have to worry about an explosion. So this sounds simple in theory. I smoke you. And I can't quite smoke you. Oh yes I can. I could smoke both of them and then... Our problem's done. What... Uh, am I really willing to tempt fate that the mechanics are as I think? Because I don't want him to die to thunderstorm. But I guess we're going to have to find out the mechanics one way or the other. But if I kill... Hmm, if I kill this feck it's going to get pushed. Unless I go here, I hate having to work around this uncertainty that the lightning clouds actually kill these mechs. I'm going to assume they don't take damage because why else would they be willingly, willingly walking into it? But who knows? Who honestly knows? Oh, and I resisted. I got lucky there. I forgot about the dang Scion again. And I can't quite push either. Damn it, I may be forced to find out the hard way. Uh, well, this stinks. I'm gonna f guess I'm gonna have to find out then. And I'm pretty certain you're not gonna die of damage, right? There's a lot of things we're gonna be figuring out, I guess. Okay, that is so good to know that they don't get damaged by a storm. And of course I forgot about the Scion again, which is getting irritating. <coughs> but once we're done with this dang uh, island, that wouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Are we ready to deal with this one, though? 
I still want that time pod to help give me a little bit of a boost. Because how are we doing on experience? You're nowhere near level 3. You just recently got level 2. What do these look like, to be honest? Protect a coal plant and end the battle with less than 4 damage. That should be simple enough. Take less than 3 grid damage. And there doesn't seem to be anything else, so... I'm fine with these mechs because one of them is frozen, so they might spend their turn trying to free that. I'm hoping at least. So this seems like an easier start and I can reasonably do well with... Oh, there's four of them. Never mind. It didn't want to tell me what that one feck was. Nonetheless, it is what it is, so let's get going. Actually, I w do, who do I want up here? Probably the artillery, in all honesty, because it can shoot from all these sides really easily. It's just not contributing with this smoke screen very well. So. Let's confirm, or do I want to switch? Well, you got the most movement, so I think you're okay. And you ignore the smoke, too, so you should be fine. No, no time pod, God damn it! So much for that. And these things are easily to, easy to kill. So how do I want to best do this? Because I can smoke screen is kind of pointless, but I can also kill them off the side. These things don't benefit from the scion, do they? No, they don't. So how do I best optimize? I can push you out of the way, that doesn't help me a whole lot, mind you. And I think I want to shoot that scion before things get hectic. You will need to die otherwise you're hitting two buildings. And I can push you out of the way but you won't die. Or I could use a Sunder Cloud, but I want to hang on to that till I can hit multiple targets, I think. There, you're dealt with. We aren't denying any reinforcements, though. So, we'll have to see how this plays out. One health, two health, so they're all r relatively simple to kill. Now, and the Hornets is going to be easy enough. Is the Hornet really that e easy enough to kill? I can just dodge it. Let's not kid ourselves, so... You can die. E simple. You need to die. I can do that. In a heartbeat there. I would like to put a smoke screen somewhere useful though, mind you. And I am going to have to block some spawns. I'm going to have to use a smoke... Well, you're dead anyway. Can the jet get up there? No. And there's no way I can block that spawn. I can block a spawn, but not the spawn I want, so... Let's try and manage this to the best of our abilities and minimize the damage as well on my mech, even though that's going to happen anyway. But it's only one point of damage, so I can manage it. So shoot him, he dies, he doesn't do any cool grid damage. And... This sounds really silly, but I like it. It's only a one health mech, and it's going to block a spawn for me, so it's not terrible. So we'll only have the Hornet, a one health mech, and the whatever comes out of this. So I'm okay with this. This is a lot more manageable. It should be, anyway. It remains to be seen. Because, okay, they're trying to attack him. And I can't, I'm just one hex off, but I just don't know how this beam works. Can I find out how this beam works? The damage is reduced by range, so it goes through everything. Yet I saw it stop at this first building, so I guess, it, hell, I even see it right here, so it just goes through everything. So I can't use the Hornet to kind of intercept that for me, is what I was thinking. I can push it and it does two damage to the Hornet, though. So I like that idea. I'm just wondering if there's a better alternative. Because I think this jet will need to kill this horn here. Just because the artillery can't do it. Oh, actually the artillery can do it. 
So let's ho hang on to that. Which way I prefer to shoot the Hornet? The artillery or the jet? Probably the artillery because it can very easily shoot from... Well, that's not true, is it? Because of the gas, the smoke clouds. But pushing you is without a doubt a good option. What do I do with the jet? Hmm. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. It's going to end up the same regardless. I might as well just block a burrow. Although I was kind of already blocking one, wasn't I? It's not as helpful as I thought it would be. And I could just kill that. Let's be serious. It's more experience, at least for my jet, that way. Whereas I think if the robot killed it, it would be spread out. So this is a little bit better. It dodges the laser. And we have three to worry about, and I have the AoE smoke cloud effect ready. So I have my I have my ace in this up my sleeve there for if they clump up. Let's see. You are no concern. You are no concern. I gotta figure out what to do with this hornet though. So I may have to push this alpha. And push into a lightning. Hmm. I, I'm just wondering if there's a way I can get a double kill. Not quite, but I... And I can't shoot this with... Hmm. And there's no way I can get close enough to kind of shoot the opposite way for a smoke cloud. Hmm. This alpha's in a bad spot. But I can dodge you. I can also kill you. I like that idea. So, I think we'll do it like this instead. As much as I like to kill the Alpha, this will give me two kills, which probably is better experience in all honesty. So... This doesn't matter so much, but... That should kill the mech at least. And we're golden. We are golden. Sadly, no pod though. I would have liked. I would have loved the time pod. Now I'm wondering which I would prefer: trying to get the core, or the perfect island bonus, which would give me an extra pilot, as well as the possibility of a good up weapon upgrade of some sort. Because I still could do this if I can push them into a frozen building. Yeah, and all the buildings are currently frozen, so they might help me a lot. I'm going to have difficulty managing this at the same time. I'm going to attempt it. Go big or go home, I suppose. I feel like I can do it. It's just going to be really damn difficult. Because I have to somehow... Well, my smoke screen will help a lot because it will deny them attacking buildings that have ice already bro broken off of them. So that is an option, if nothing else. Especially if they go there to attack and I put a smoke screen on them after. Well, they would move before I get a chance. Never mind. Now... I want the, the artillery somewhere where it can start putting smoke screen cover for any buildings that are freed. And I do have to look at the possibility of using my own. What is this? Your bonus objective is to protect it. Okay, so... That should be simple enough. And you, I want you here in the front because that makes them less likely to attack these buildings once you get the smoke screen. You're also the most mobile too, in case they go downward. Now, I want them to free five of the buildings for me, especially if they have AoE attacks. And I can also use the Scion Explosion to help me in that regard too. Hmm. I'm going to have to be incredibly careful of how I do this though, because I still need to manage the numbers, because my first impression, push you in this block of two buildings, and then snipe you with an artillery or something, but that's really scary because I'm festing a lot of units into that. Hmm. I like the idea a lot though, and I, hmm, I can only... I need to do some kind of damage to you as well to make sure you die next turn. But if I can start early on this, that would be great. And you have the mobility to justify it. And this will help my jet a little bit for dealing with our friend there. 
I'll have to kill the Scion first, though. With that said... And this smoke screen will help protect... Yeah, this smoke here will help to protect this robotics lab immensely, because I don't think this even counts towards breaking five ice. Oh, damn it. I hate to burn a reset on this, but I didn't account for the fact it would explode after the push. Which ultimately is better for me. Because then I don't have to commit this pulse mech. But still, that's not how I would love to use a reset. But it's a damn good one, use out of it, if nothing else. Now... I can do one damage to you easily enough, but I would like to put you in ideal position. Am I okay with you breaking a third ice built or third structure though? I do have an AoE smoke cloud either way. I'm just trying to think what's my best use here. Probably kill a scion. I cannot push you into the other burrow, which would be amazing. So I'm kind of tempted just to push you out of the way. I can also block this spawn, which would really help me for next turn, honestly. It's not really much damage there, but... It, it limits where he can go. It's this alpha that's a pain, but my artillery is in the perfect position to kind of deny its attacks. So three are broken out, so that's a damn good start. Now where are you going? Well, that's convenient. <clears throat> that's convenient, I just gotta be remembering I need to save these buildings, too. I could push you into that, you take three points of damage. I would love to repair with you, but we'll hang on to that for later, I guess. And I need to use my artillery wisely here because I need to free out two buildings and only one yeah my jet can't free anything besides the one in back so I gotta be ready for that so next turn I think I use this artillery to free one of these buildings here and the jet makes its way for the final turn to free this last one and now I think we just repair get this thing's health up because it's probably gonna draw some fire and now we get two reinforcements, you're at one health. So even my pulse mech could potentially kill this alpha, if I'm so lucky. Alright, so... This works sort of well for me. Because if my artillery sh mm, I was going to say if my artillery shoots at that, that'd be pretty good, but... My jet won't have anything it can jump and do an airstrike on, is the problem there. You have one health, you can die easily enough, but I can also cancel your attack. And I do have my AoE smoke screen still. And I am standing on a- ooh, I can get behind this and push it. I like this idea for delaying. Am I okay with that? Because I'd rather my jet do that. Ooh, I think I know what to do. I can kill the Alpha this way. Hmm. I wonder if there's a better spot to put the smoke screen though with that said. I would like to put the smoke screen on... What's your... Sorry, I forget my pilot's name. Camila. She's immune to the lightning, we already know that. And I can break that ice down there. I could kill both of them. I could still free that next turn. And I would just have... Three so effect to deal with. I like, I kind of like this better just in case, but it forces my hand quite heavily too. It really forces my hand. So gotta be careful. Gotta be really damn careful. We got three effect to deal with. Hopefully they attack some of my mechs to make this possible. So, hmm, this is going to suck a bit. 
Because I can't quite get around. If I could get there, that would be perfect for a smokescreen. Now I have to choose whether I want to take the one point of grid damage or get the objective. Because even my jet can't reach that. Because I would love to have gone there. You were almost dead, but that's not quite going to cut. Hmm. Actually. Yeah, I think we're going to be taking a lot of grid damage no matter what. Because this thing's going to do two damage to it. Well, if artillery can shoot at that easily enough, this will free one. We know that. So my artillery is kind of free to do what it wants as far as killing this thing. I would have liked a better position for my pulse mech, though. That was a bit of a mistake to put it where I did. So, we clear that. We're going to attempt the 27% on that, and you can free this thing. Is that the final verdict? Because I would like to kill you too. I can kill you though, to be fair, and get some extra experience out of it, but... We're going to try our luck, I guess. And hopefully this gives spreads out the, AO the experience, because it is an AoE, or damage over time effect. Fingers crossed, we get the objective, but we do take one point of grid damage. Okay, so yeah, one experience on my artillery. Eh, that's a shame. If only my pulse mech was one hex closer and it didn't have to go all the way around the Hornet. That's the only thing that killed me there. Bad placement on the pulse mech. But it's still potentially a perfect run if we can deal with the Hornet leader. And I got a core, let's not forget that. What do I put it on? Because I can get plus one damage on you, which is good. We can get extra move, which is definitely good. One extra use on the smoke screen, I love that potential, especially for a Hornet to kind of restrict where it can go. Oh, I need power. So, let's give this a try, shall we? I like two uses of smoke screen, I just got in power. The, the lightning storm to get more damage out of that, so my pulse mech can do a good amount of AoE damage in the process. So, we have two uses of smoke screen. I just use it to deny them attacking buildings as much as possible. So I love putting smoke screen here, protects these two buildings, almost pretty much completely, at least to melee attacks. But we'll also need to do damage to the Hornet leader. Let's, Hornet leader, let's not kid ourselves. So this could get awkward. Hmm, so he's attacking straight, so... And any kind of push sideways... Hmm. I'd love to just push you into that, do a bunch of damage, but I'm gonna be pushing you twice is the problem. And I could kill you easily, and you're not attacking. I don't care about you then. How do we get the most damage on the Hornet leader, though? Because I would love to push him into that. I would love to push him into that. It's not likely to happen, though. And I could put a smoke screen on him, too, if I do push him. Hmm. And then I could kill the Scion really easily, but I'll be in a bad position to deal with our Crawler here. Alpha Centipede, he only moves two hexes, so I'm perfectly fine with that. He, it's not even possible for him to attack a building next turn. So I love that already. Can I get a good position to protect the building? Not really. Which kind of sucks. I do dislike that some. And I could do more damage to you, which is also tempting, but it no again, it knocks you out of the... off the burrow there. For the emerging feck. Okay. That was pretty good. We got fire on this force, so that's a possibility, but we're really awkward on the side. So, I'm hoping this thing is not very mobile, whatever it is. 
good. Artillery single-handedly kills you. You are nothing. Hell, I could just push you both and block that spawn at the same time. Not a lot of damage, mind you, but I like it. Yeah, where can I go to maximize my defenses, though? Because I could also put a smoke screen there to kind of do guaranteed damage. Is that what I want to do, though? I want to get as much protection on these structures as possible. But I also need to start killing stuff, otherwise I'm going to get overwhelmed. And I need to kill you first. I think that much is certain. And what can I do here? Not really much there, so I guess I'm just blocking emerging feck. It's what it looks like. You do one damage to each other, I'm fine with that. Oh, that was unfortunate. I completely forgot about that little... I thought it was safe from that, but... I am poisoned, but, and I take two points of damage, so that's unfortunate. I was thinking for some reason they were both oh, artillery attacks, damn it. I could take the hit. Ooh, I hope the acid doesn't double the burrow damage, though, now that I think of it. That could be scary. And he's also in his own acid, so that works perfectly. I might have... Well... My artillery could kill him easily enough. I just need a window to repair now. Which is going to be tricky. Unless I repair myself. Keep. The, let's hold on to that idea though before I repair. Because you are dead no matter what. And what do I do about this art? This one here? I could just smoke screen. Or he does nothing. And I just repair myself. I like that idea too. Only problem is, I'm going to take the one point of damage. That's not scary at all. That's not scary at all. Let's not kid ourselves. And I can repair the asset. Or I could just kill you, but you're at one health, so I think I'm fine with that. And it clears out the asset just in case. Just in case I'm willing to take another hit to kind of deny grid damage. Level up, perfect. <clears throat> so we got a max level artillery. Ooh, and he got extra health too. So that's with his level 3 trait, I believe. Now, please attack me and only me. You make my life so easy because I can kill all of you right now. It's a good thing I left that thing with one health because now we just got ourselves a triple kill. And, of course, the smoke screen is going to give me additional experience as a result of that. Well, that was a swift end right there. Not that I'm complaining. Good Samaritan. Ooh, earned nine reputation. Ooh, it did... We got, we got the max amount of reputation we could get, I suppose. We got a promotion. Which is extra health. Maybe I put that on the mech. Hard to say, though. Hard to say what, I, what pile I want to do, especially when I got perfect. Ooh, two resets. A shield array. Hmm. That's for my science mech, though. And I already got... I really do love the smoke screen that I have already. So I, I kind of would like you, because you get extra moves and extra resets. is always useful, without a doubt. I feel bad for my, my pilot that got level 3. But the hit points aren't really useful on a mech. Or artillery mech, mind you. So I can do this. I'm fine with this. We got nine reputation. We'll donate you away. And what do we have for options? No longer take damage when blocking feck, and that's a passive that I have to put on someone, right? So I only have one slot left, so that might matter for later. But it is on sale. So I will consider that. Ooh, that's for my airplane. I like the sounds of this a lot. It's only one use though. What is this? One damage. And it pushes, but... <clears throat> it doesn't tell me what bonus traits it has. Oh, it probably doesn't have any, that's why. 
pulls target towards you. Gotta keep in mind I can't really make use of science weapons because I really do like what I already have for a smoke screen. I like this potential though. Plus one damage, plus one use. That has some really good potential. So I get the stabilizers and I get the shrapnel cannon and I buy two grid or two cores. That sounds nice. Since it's on sale, it's, it's worth it grabbing. Oh, I didn't realize I had extra. For some reason I thought I had nine, not ten. Because of the achievement. The achievement threw me off. But we can max up our grid back up again, if nothing else. So, let's equip ourselves, shall we? Oh yeah, I forgot the stabilizers can't be thrown on there. Hmm. Well, that's an ear team. I, I should hang on to it just in case. But I could could have got them more as a result. So we have two cores. I would love to get extra movement and power to sing. I also need to make my way towards this storm generator, which is going to be useful. And shielding friendlies would be good. Because that gives me options with this thing for protecting buildings, but... What gives me a power boost? Powering this thing up, without a doubt. Hmm. I got no time pods, which really sucks. That would have given me an extra core, too. So that's a bit of a shame. And uh, that requires one core to power. I was hoping maybe I didn't need one. It's two damage, it's useful. It does two damage to everything. So, let's start working further towards this. And I can get plus one damage on my artillery. And you have plus one mech move, so I can happily take out the one core I had there. So now I need one more for a storm generator, but I'll happily take one extra damage. So, we're looking good so far. I like to sink. Two perfect islands, or two perfect islands, and let's try for another. We're making decent time here. Which do I prefer? Which do I prefer? We got the dang armadillo thing, armored thing that's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. But my artillery should be up for it. I do hate that one thing that, that spawns the rocks. I forget what it's called. Hmm. And I can't quite remember what that one worm, octopus looking thing does. Well, let's, we're gonna have to pick one anyway if we're gonna go for four islands, so let's go anyway. Let's get ourselves a time pod though, damn it. I would love a time pod. How are we gonna get one though? Defend artillery support, so we got a lot of firepower here. It's just not in the best placement. So what I wanna do is block off these paths, so that way there may be a courage to go upward a little bit. For my artillery, and there's a lot of water here too, if I can push them. So lots and lots of possibilities here. So that's, an, that's going to be really annoying, but thankfully I have a flyer here for the water. So I can deal with you decently. You're an alpha too, aren't you? No, you're not. You are not alpha. I can take a hit, remember, and there's no objective requiring me to take these hits. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this, because I can ignore you. What do you give these guys again? Regenerate every turn, so you're annoying. Without a doubt. And I could shut you up in a hurry. Because that does 3 damage, has 5 health, so I can kill this thing. With my flyer. So this is not a problem. Now, you need to be dealt with. Which is possible. What? The, when does the healing take effect, though? Regenerates first, okay, then the emerge. But at least my storm happens after, before, before the Scion, so I can kill you as well. Oh, three damage. I forgot to upgrade it, so that's convenient. I will happily take that then. I was... 
Sadly, I cannot... Well, I could push you into the rock, but that's not going to kill you. Sadly. And I like to protect these two buildings, because this smoke screen is perfect for that here. Just got to be very careful this one little nuisance. If he puts a rock there, I really only have my artillery to kind of protect it. But it's easy enough to kill at the same time with said artillery. So I like just securing this area night as pretty much that self ends on lockdown. Aside for that one hex, it is going to regenerate health, mind you. So the scion's not going to die. It's not even going to be wounded. Huh? Oh, it doesn't heal itself. It heals the others. That's what. For some reason, I thought the scion was going to get healed too. Silly me. So you're annoying, but I can kill you. I kind of was expecting that play. Now, I could kill you. You're not an issue. You're not a threat. And you got good protection for my artillery. For both my artillery. Now, I need to deal with you. I do not have to worry about you, though. What sucks... Hmm. I would love to do two damage to you. It's not going to happen, though. And you're immune to fire, are you? I'm trying to remember. Are you immune to fire? Webbing and smoke. So going into the fire, while you could take the hits, probably not a good idea. I could just smoke screen it. It's not a terrible idea. But I'd rather just kill him. And I could push you. I could also have fired, but... Hmm. Which way did that push? Backwards. Oh, well, it's too late now since I did the action, but I'm going to have to get used to this uh, shrapnel cannon. It wasn't a terrible loss, but I probably could have done that better as a result of not remembering I had that thing. Because I could have had that the alpha block the spawn for me. While pushing the R1 into the drain, into the water. So it could have done that better without a doubt. But you're dead. You're not even hitting anything that I care about. Sadly, this artillery is not useful because the rocks are kind of in the way. And I could push you into the burrow. Actually, I could push you into the water. Let's not do that just yet, though. So push you, goodbye. I am getting extra spawns, so gotta be careful of that. And you can shoot, but can't shoot anything that I care about. Only thing I can think of is to put smoke screen on something to protect it. I'm still paranoid if the lightning's gonna kill my tank, but it has two health, even if if it were somehow to take damage. So more smoke the better. Speaking of which, I have an achievement for getting as much smoke as possible, don't I? So, how much smoke do I need? I need to do 12 damage. Never mind, it's not smoke, it's damage I need to be concerned with. So that'll be tricky. I can kill you easy. You are annoying. But we can deal with you. Because the thing that's annoying about him is the smoke screen. What? Well, smoke screen would stop this, and it also would die. But I'd rather just kill you. And you are dead. We know this much. And I have two resets, so let's keep that in mind too, so I can experiment a bit. Only thing is I can't do anything about that, but I do have to kill it. Which an easy easy push will do. So... I will take fire damage, but that's okay. Because he's also... Oh wait. I'm going to fire with the artillery first. It's going to light them both on fire. But I can shoot from the water. Oh, it didn't push him. I thought it would for whatever reason. Oh well, that's fine. There. That felt pretty good. 
I am on fire, though. There's lots of fire going on. Don't ask me how a jet's on fire, though. That I could not tell you. But it's working good there. That one little awkward position of my pulse mech being in a bad spot and it could not get around the facts. The only thing keeping me from, so far, a perfect score. But I need to get that thunderstorm upgrade if I want to get that achievement for 12 lightning damage, though. And... Can I do it here? What's available? We have the block 3 vec. We have the dam. That will help with killing a lot of vec. I still want a damn time pod. I was robbed last time. So I might... I'll try to pasture first, then I'll make my way to the library. Ooh, and this one has satellites. So... I gotta keep in mind these things have two health. That's an important factor. So they could take some hits. Not from the not from these guys though. Only one that probably won't kill it right away is the digger. Now, where am I worried of them going? Because if I block these three spots, they're without a doubt going to either attack me or attack the rockets. So let's be prepared for that. For if I back up, they might attack this building. So which am I more comfortable with? I think I want them to attack the rockets because then I can easily push them into the water a little bit easier. That's my thought process. I don't know if my position is the best though. With that said, do I want to shuffle this around some? I honestly don't know. I think I like the pulse mech in the middle because it's the easiest one to push them into the water. The only one that's awkward is the leaper who can get behind me. And we do have a pod. So hopefully it'll be easy to grab. You're annoying, but you don't hit anything. And you kind of block your colleague some. Hmm, and I could push you into the water. So, I can ignore you completely. I could ignore you. But I'm going to push you and then I have to... Okay, for some reason I thought this was the one where I had to block spawns. No, it's not. And I can also do some damage to him too as a bonus. Get the pod, break the rocks. It softs him up for next turn at least. And he blocks a spawn for me. He even... You know, he doesn't quite kill his colleague though, does he? He does only, what, three damage? It's damn close. If only I had like a some way to pull him into this burrow. That would be amazing. Now I'm in the predicament. Do I block the spawn? Because these are all going to be so close to death. And I also have the shrapnel gun. Let's keep that in mind. Can I use this in a way? Ooh, I kind of can. I might as well start using it just for the sake of using it, to be honest. Because this does the same thing and it does kill one of the alphas. It does burn my one use when I could have got more value out of it, but I need to start utilizing it so I remember I have it. Because I missed out on at least one opportunity last mission. So, good start so far. I want to say, at least. Lots of stuff are on fire, which actually helps me, if I were to be honest. And you are going to be an annoying little thorn. I'm going to be forced to use the artillery. But you were so easy to kill, I just wish it was on... Hmm, i like to push you instead. With that said. And what's it... You are launching. Not that it really matters, because we already got solutions to kill these two. So, goodbye. Clears the rocks. I'm going to have to switch their roles a bit. Well, actually, I don't. You just go here. You go here, push, barbecue, smoke, they're all dead. We have to deal with three more though, so maybe that's... An I shouldn't get too excited just yet. This could still get a little ugly. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention to the launch. Ooh, that sucks. I just screwed myself. And there's nothing I could do to reset that. So that was my own dumb fault. So I lose out on two pilots. 
So that may just end the run right there. But I do have the health. Everything was going well and I ruined it. I rushed it. I really rushed that. Hmm. Can't do much for you. I'm gonna have to take the core damage, I suppose, if we're gonna keep this going. Because even if I could smokescreen that, it doesn't help me. Ooh, that was brutal. And I need to kill you too, so... I lose one grid. I lose potentially two grid. But I'm gonna have to make tough choices now after that. After that horrible mistake I made. And we resisted. Ooh, that was brutal. Yeah, I rushed that. Of course, I think it would... I Even if I was slowed down, I don't think I would have noticed the jet because of how its attack works. But the pulse mech was probably my own damn fault. I would have had to really think about what the jet was doing if I were to realize it was flying into the rocket. Especially since the pulse mech was there. But we do get a new pilot, which does help some alleviate the pain. I do lose my valuable Camila, who would have... Who would have been insanely good for the pulse mech because of its walk into smoke that it was generating. So my dynamic's gonna change a little bit here. So pilot available. Deploy anywhere on the map. So what do I want to do with you? Because it sounds good for a pulse mech. I'm not gonna lie. And the smoke pelt's not really as potent anymore because of that. Sort of. Sort of. Not quite, though. So if I can continue to get a perfect run somehow, then I can get a third pilot for my jet. So we can recover from this. We can still recover from this. How do I want to re-optimize, though? If at all. Because you got plus one mech move, I don't think I need you as much on the artillery, so I could put you on the jet. Nah, I figured I could just immediately put you on the jet. We're gonna have to do this devil... Un what is it? Take you off the artillery, then move you on the jet. We still have good damage. We're making our way towards the storm generator. And I do have a core, let's not forget about that. So, I could continue to get more use, but we'll hang on to that. And I could get additional... St get the storm generator now, if I so wish. I do want to work towards it. Oh. Oh. I was one. Did I unpower that? Oh, I accidentally took it off. That's probably why. So... This thing's still pretty damn useful. Do I give it an additional use? I still want to work towards the artillery, the storm generator. So I think that's where I'm leaning. Is with another core, maybe not get just yet though, but have it available. Especially since I am also missing on my move. So I was wrong about the move not being valuable in the mech, I guess. Now, I could still do this later, but I need that perfect run, I think, too. To at least get an extra pilot. Ooh, air support. I don't have a lot of pushing potential. Well, I'm wrong. I have two mechs that can push. Maybe not the best. Ooh, I have all three of them can push. I was wondering, can I game this a little bit to get an extra use of the, out of the shrapnel camp for more pushing? Make it a little bit easier? Am I okay with one less damage, though, on the aerial bombs? I think I'm okay. I can hang on to that till later. And we'll think about the library. I would love the core, but... My confidence is shaking a little bit. Can you blame me? <laughs> that was my own dumb mistake, though I won't lie. Now, we do have artillery strikes, and they're perfect for these narrow pathways. It's going to be really tricky for you. Ooh, you do... This is an interesting mechanic. Not only do you drop anywhere you wish, but you also damage whatever's in your way. I just wish I could damage multiple units. So, I kill you immediately. I like that potential. 
if nothing else. So, is that what we want to do? Let's try it. Goodbye. Who an nerd pod? This will help a bit. It may not technically be a pilot, but it will help. And I hate you for this chat because you can't jump over onto a rock. So you're dead, no questions asked. You're shooting at the pulse mech. And I could do damage to you. I don't I could just ignore you too, potentially, but the more I kill the better as well. So let's keep that in mind. How do I want to optimize this? Again, you are not a threat, and I would like to put a smoke screen here to protect one of the buildings as a bonus. I also kill you, but that doesn't give a smoke screen. Actually, you destroy all the rocks there and then my jet can potentially follow up. It seems like a waste of a jet at the same time. I'm just trying to figure out how to optimize my turn, because I think I want to stop one of the emerging feck at the same time. Without a doubt I can kill you, you're going to be annoying, but the artillery's in position, and you're... It has less movement than my artillery, so I think we have a hard solution to deal with this d digger. Now... I am question, curious on how to best use you, because if you stand here you are on fire, but at the same time, the effect can only go up unless it's a flyer. Am I... do I really care about that though? Because my artillery's up there, my jet's the one that's kind of can go where it wants. I don't want to be lit on fire at the same time too. You are going to be a pain with that said regardless. But I don't have to deal with him and you're the last one alive. So what's... oh yes. I was wondering what that was. I thought I moved every... did everything I needed to. There, you're down. It does open up the space a little bit more for him upwards, so that's a pain. Ooh, he's already on fire. That... I hadn't really considered, to be honest. Ooh, that artillery strike stinks, but they are kind of taking the bait and going after my aircraft, which isn't really all that bad. Now, there's another effect spine there, so I'm kind of fine with that, and that one's going to be lit on fire, so let's repair. And see where I can put you. No, we're really useful in all honesty. This is going to be a pretty passive run or mission. So let's not do the same mistake we did last turn by walking into this. I do want to know a better spot to put you though. And I can't quite kill the digger, alas, so let's just put a smoke on this building to kind of cover our bases a little. It's not going to do much, mind you, but you never know when a leaper might try and attack. And you are dead next turn, if I remember correctly, right? No. But you are killing each other, so thanks for that. Okay, Ner Alpha. The sleeper is dead. Easiest job of my life there. You're shooting at a rock. You are, however, a pain. And you have three health, so my pulse mech's not going to get to do a lot here. Hmm. Ooh, I have a thought. We finally got used for the shrapnel cannon, I think. Gotta be careful about the push. Now, Leaper is dead, we already know that. And I still have my two resets, so... I think we're okay trying this out and we won't, aren't really gonna get punished. Do I want to move you first before I do that, though? I like you where you are already, to be honest, so... That clears up that mess. You are only going to take one point of damage, mind you, so I'm okay with that. You would have to take one point of damage either way I attack. Lots of damage there, I like that. And the pulse mech can kill you off. He 
you're gonna be on fire. That's the only thing I don't like doing this. So we may have to use our smoke screen for this. Which I'm not really fond of. And let's, hmm. We'll burn it. Because you're dead. We have just... Yeah, we're going to only have two feck left here. Because this is going to die next turn. The fire is going to do the third point of damage before it does anything. Lots of stuff dying. I like it. So, the last one was a Scion, so... Does it actually regenerate the health? That's sort of what scares me right now. Complicates things a tiny bit, and that was a horrendous spot to shoot that. I'm not gonna lie. But, you're dead. I can't put you in the fire. But I can sort of push you to get my, all my kills. I do take one damage in the mountain, but that's minor consequences in it. And you fly into place here and kill this thing. Everyone lives, no one dies, so that's a big plus there. Maximize our experience, because if these guys get to level 3 on the next mission, that will help alleviate... at least recover heavily from losing my two main pilots. All right. We do also have a time pause, so what do we get in that? Come on, pilot. Ooh, perfect. Mech gains armored. So you can take a lot of hits, and I think that also resists against the burrowing? I'm not quite sure, but we got a third pilot. Is he the pilot we would have liked? Is he the most optimal pilot? I don't know. Because I could tell you that... Ghana is not meant for an artillery mech. I think that's safe to say. Plus three grid defense, I would have liked plus one move, mind you. So I think you go in artillery mech again, back to where you were. Ghana. Hmm. This is an interesting question. I think the preemptive strike works great for a jet, the jet, and it works. It technically functions really well. <laughs> as a death from above kind of attack, especially when it does damage, mind you. So, ooh, I didn't put you onto the mech. I thought I did. And I like this because, of course, this thing's supposed to be in the front line, so it soaks a lot of damage. And I have a core, so... I get that back. I do have to use one core on... for the preemptive strike. So I think I could easily throw my core on here that just got on him. And I don't really lose anything. still want to work towards the storm generators, especially with the smoke pellets. And I would love to get that shield friendly too, but I think my focus is on the storm generator. Maybe get that achievement done. But are we looking good? We have one more mission. I think we're going to try big. I don't like this very much, but if I can get a really damn good dam, what is it, the flooding? Because once I destroy this, it turns this entire area into water, which would be great at denying ground units. But we do have an Alpha Leaper here, which I can one-shot. Oh, it's hectic. I really do love this game. It was a bit of a mess on my first uh, stream, but mind you... I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I did watch the streams though, so I had... Or I did watch videos of his, what I mean, so I had a good idea what I was getting into. Now, what do you do again? You regenerate, so... I don't actually want to... I don't want to actually deploy you just yet, so let's get to you later. Now, how do I want to optimize this? Because you can go anywhere and I want to make sure the artillery can shoot you. Because I think that's the artillery's job there, is to kill him and at the same time provide smoke for this building. So I think you go here, Pulse Mech can go almost anywhere, and provide lots of smoke screen. This is almost like a, an amazing combo. Smoke pellets cover, protects all these buildings as much as possible if I get an opportunity to pop it. The dam floods this entire area, so if I do my smoke screen properly, they can only attack from back here, which is where nowhere near where they're going to deploy. 
that's what I that's why I'm really hoping if this works out well now it's just a question of what do I land on for maximizing damage because keep in mind you also have shrapnel can you have aerial bombs so aerial bomb is basically three damage and that's AOE two damage I'm just wondering what I want to do one damage to I think it's this damn thing because at least I can follow up a kill just not not with him actually I could because it pushes it into a rock okay I like this idea and it sets up for maybe killing the scion with a smoke generator. Ooh, and it caught. I gotta remember it lights the trees on fire. Too. God damn it. That I was not expecting. That I was not expecting. I was think. I was thinking the regeneration would not trigger, but at least they're gonna hit each other, but. Until. Ooh, this sucks. I could fix that relatively easily, though. And. If I push him in that, that gives... Hmm. I like the potential here. At least to start soften up this dam without really trying to, although this is bad. Ooh, I could get a double kill. I like this more and more. I just don't get smokescreen protection on these buildings just yet, but... That kills our Scion, that kills the Alpha, and one more point of damage for the dam. I just now got to set up an opportunity to kill these things in a hurry. Hmm. And if I do any attack to them, they're pretty much going to die. So, how do I best do this? I don't think I have much of a choice. There only seems to be... Yeah, there's only one effect that's actually emerging, surprisingly. Oh, I have to block effect too. Let's keep that in mind. I almost forgot about the objective. Am I okay with this? I think I'm okay with this. We're gonna kill the Scion. They're gonna soften each other up nicely. And hopefully, they fall for the bait. All three of my mechs are currently standing in the path of the dam. So if they walk in here, all three of them die. That's my dream. Sadly, the sucky thing is only my artillery can shoot at the dam, unless they're standing right next to it. And sadly, they, didn't, they did not fall for the bait as much as I would like. So, he's still at full health, so he's still worth killing, if nothing else. Artillery can kill him, smokescreen that. I'm just wondering how... Because you do nothing. I just gotta keep my Ghana is going to take a bit of damage if I don't repair him. And you have armor, so you're safe from whatever they hit you with. And you only do one damage, so by all means, take that shot. Ooh, you know what this is possibly gonna do? This will deny the emerging feck at the same time, isn't it? So let's just repair you, Gonna. Get you back up. You fire to dam. There. Cool, refreshing water. Now, sadly, I'm not quite going to get to push you because this rock is conveniently in the way, but. I could block you. You are going to be on fire, though, but it gives me my three effects block. But I can also do that next turn. I don't think I'm really worried. I'm just wondering how to get the most out of you. Because you're going to take two damage because of this damn fire. And I don't think I want to do that. If I were to be serious. So I think I think I just keep you in the water for now. Just cool off a bit. Think about what you're doing. And then if I could block a spawn next turn, that'd be perfect. Because you're on fire, you're already dead. Just emerging was your death sentence. Yeah, I could push into stone there, I suppose, or I could push the stone into it. But, yeah, that wasn't a terrible idea, actually. I could still do it now, but it's only one point of damage. You're already dead. I don't care about you. I could... Hmm. I like this idea. I'm going to take one point of damage, but... Denies both them. Get a level up too. We could deny all of them. 
I would love some more experience, mind you. So I think I'm just going to trap this thing. It's not going to go anywhere. Let's just bully the poor feck. That sounds like fun, right? Although I should have put a smoke screen there just to add insult to injury. He couldn't move, and he would immediately take one lightning damage. So who needs experience? Ghana does. And I can also shoot you and kill you. Perfect. Well, that was a nice simple turn. You're smoked and you're dead. Although it is AoE. It is this lightning damage, so it's... Gana's not going to get all the experience, alas, but can't ask for a more simpler ending, can we now? There we go, we're looking pretty. We're looking damn good. So, we're back up to full strength. I kind of like Amila a lot better, though, for the Pulse Mech because she ignores the smoke effect. So she gets a lot more freedom. And I also have another core. Can I get the level 2 storm generator? I can. Am I willing? Well, not quite. I'm downgrading. I thought for some reason I had an extra core I didn't, don't actually have. Hmm. I could get one more damage though. That would also be amazing. Do I have an alternative though? An extra use of shrapnel can is also amazing. Hmm. I want to keep working towards this so an extra core is warranted, so why not just boost the damage further? You are now a four-point artillery that can also serve as, like, denying a second attack if I place you right. And with your four movements, you could do it. You're not quite an artillery tank anymore, though. If I use you properly. Hmm. A preemptive strike, so... We'll have to see how Preemptive Strike works. I can at least get one damage right away on Alpha. Maybe block its pathing a tiny bit. Ooh, this is perfect. One damage on the Alpha and kill this thing at the same time. Ugh. Cylon, though. Scion. We found out that thing immediately regenerates the health, so... If only you were in the place of the Alpha, I could have done one permanent damage to you. Oh, well, I'll take, a I'll take an instant kill any day, though. Now... Where do I want to put you? You got four hex moves, so if I put you here, you can basically fire from any angle on the side. I like you more in the middle because it opens up the possibility of protecting the buildings with a smoke. I'm not entirely certain what's the best placement, but three of them down here, the Leaper's already dead. You got two movement, you have three. In your concern, if I'm going to try and kill off the leader, in all seriousness. But, can't ask for a better start, can we now? That regeneration is annoying. Oh, oh, he's massive. I got excited for a moment. He's massive. And it's kind of annoying because I like him to kill his own alpha at the same time. That just means I can't use a smoke screen, though. Or push him into the water if I want that. I could smoke screen you, though. But you're dead regardless, so it's not a big deal. Hmm. So how to get the best out of this as far as protecting my buildings at the same time? I could block an emerging effect. That doesn't do anything for me, though. Can you get up there, Ghana? I think you can. You do take one damage, so you're going to be on death's door a little bit. Oh, and that pushes you, doesn't it? So that's... That is not a good idea. So I'm wrong. The artillery can't deal with this. Unless I want to put a smoke screen on there, which then I can't push this thing. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to think on this differently. I need to focus on killing this thing, don't I? And actually, you already moved, didn't you? So, not as useful as I like there. I was thinking maybe I could push you into the Alpha rather than push the Alpha back. D7. Yeah, to save the building there. I could shoot. 
I can airstrike at least, so... Can't quite push it back with the artillery due to minimum range. So airstrike this if I need to. I can push this to save it. Without a doubt, but I have to push it downwards. I'm just trying to maximize this, because I can easily do 3 damage to this thing and have it at half health. And then I have to kill the Scion at the same time. I do have two resets, so... Not a huge, huge concern just yet. I do need to kill the Scion, though, if I want to kill this thing with just a jet. Hmm. Actually, I could have done that better. I could have gone over here, damn it. I rushed that a tiny bit. Thankfully, I have two resets. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought I could move there. I talked about that earlier, didn't I? So that was stupid. Now he burnt our reset for no reason. It's all good, though. Now, to maximize your movement, let's have you go over here and then jump back. So you have a little more flexibility. Yeah, the plane could have saved the building, but at least this way we start softening up this alpha for the perfect island. Because I would have to kill the Cylon otherwise, because the pulse isn't going to damage this. I would have loved to kill the blobber, but it does no damage for me for the alpha. That's half dead, so another attack will kill the thing from the jet alone. We do need to manch everything else though. That blobber is an easy answer. I wonder if the smoke screen even stops that as explosion or not. That would be kind of silly. In fact, the storm would just kill it anyway before it explodes, so it's still an option no matter how it functions. I could smoke screen you, you're just. Well, he, since he's armed, he takes no damage, so. And, oh, I gotta remember, I have four damage on this dang artillery. I need to best think about how to do this, mind you. Hmm, I do have the Gatling gun still, or the shrapnel gun. But I think I have to push you. I easily take the damage really gracefully, so that's not a problem. I can block this shot, I can smoke him in all seriousness. What I'm thinking is maybe using artillery to kind of just smoke screen him. I think there's a better way, but... Because I could push you into it. Who am I kidding? I push you into it, and you, it gets rid of the blobber for me. It, and then I can kill him with the jet. Oh no, the jets would have moved. I could kill you with the artillery. I like this. Sadly, I would have loved them to have an extra health point to block the emerging fact, mind you. But we can't get everything. There, you're gone. Good riddance to you. I would love to have seen if the smoke screen actually would have helped, mind you. Because that actually would protect this building completely. Minimize where they can attack. I just don't know if it actually works against this blob. Now. Please keep attacking me. That makes my life easy. Thank you. And let's see, you have two health. I can artillery strike you. I would have loved to have been over here because that would have been instant kill on this alpha if I could be right up here. Although I could still get... I could... Hmm. I like this potential. No risk at all for just one action. I could smoke screen you. That's three damage and I push you. Attack cancelled. And now push him into each other and that, that one's at least dead. There, that's a nice solid turn for you. Ooh, I'm looking forward to trying out hard difficulty, although that's going to be a pain in the ass, is it now? Uh, but I'm really liking this style with the rusting hulks. Ooh, you're annoying. You're annoying. If only I had this extra damage on my smoke screen, that would immediately kill you. Now, who needs experience? Ghana and Abe. Although Abe's in like the worst type of mech for doing damage. 
So that's a bit of a concern. But let's do what we can. We can always switch them out worst case. I don't know what to switch them out into. Maybe the aircraft, if it works with the... If it minimizes the damage from the burrowing, that might be good. Mm, it would just kill you. We're done. Not a perfect island. I like it. I like it a lot. It was... It was a terrible mission there, losing two of my pilots because of my own stupidity, but... We recovered well, it's just probably not the most optimized squad. It's the only criticism I would have. So, what bonus do we get? Ooh, move again after shooting. That fits so good with the theme of a jet, mind you. It jumps and then moves out of the way. It's a little tricky to utilize though, but now I have... Hmm, Windtorn is such a favorite too, I think, from what I see in the videos. And the pushing potential is really useful. But, what would I sacrifice, in all honesty? I, I really want the Storm Generator. Smoke Pelt's amazing for that synergy. And I love the Shrapnel Can as well. It just needs to be upgraded to know its full potential. So I think we go with Archimedes and look for a window for him. Although, who do I get rid of? I, hmm, who do I honestly get rid of if I want Archimedes? Because that's really damn potent. And it gives me, well, we'll see. What are my options? Heavy artillery. Don't think we can make use of that, especially if it's a one-use type of thing. Missile barrage. Ooh, I've seen this in action. It's amazing for crowd control. Hmm. I just don't know if it, if it's what I need, considering I'm more about damage over time rather than raw burst damage potential. Hard to really say. Boosters is good. Pull tank. Hmm. Again, the problem is what do I sacrifice? Because I like the equipment I have now. I, w I might as well donate the stabilizers. I'm basically getting my money back. So I think I'm okay with that. Although, and I don't have to donate anyone actually. I got my nine reputation for three cores, so let's do that. So I can hang on Archimedes if I can find a good use for him. So Isaac, oh yeah, because of the the temporal reset. That's probably true. The health is not need for an artillery mech. Hmm. The question is, what would Archimedes be best for? Because Preemptive Strike is amazing for either the Pulse Mech or the Jet. And at least Abe can take the hit, so I kind of agree with the Temporal Reset. It's much convenience it feels like to have the Temporal Reset. Now, we have three cores. Fire and Forget without doubt, and let's get our Storm here. Now, we have two uses of this. That's going to be amazing damage potential. And I like extra range to get even more smoke clouds in effect. Can I do that? Not without turning off either Preemptive Strike or Shrapnel Cannon. At least we'll hang on to that for now. We'll get the extra use. Because I really do like the potential, the potential of the Shrapnel Cannon. Yep, I did not get rid of Isaac just yet. And we don't need to get rid of him. So, we're looking good. There is no try. Oh, finish three corporate. Ooh, we're getting all sorts of achievements, so... Let's quickly try for the last one here. It's not quite a perfect run on normal difficulty with that one building we had destroyed and that awkward time with losing my pilots, but it's a damn good run so far. Ooh, this is a tough one. Right off the bat, we either get just a single reputation or we do a tough one. Block 3 spawn effect. That seems really doable. I have to defend both power plants and just block 3 spawns, so that sounds easy enough, right? There's five of them right off the bat. Ooh, crap. This I don't like. 
Is there... Can I do any tweaks for this? Because as much as the storm generator is good for this, in general, is there a better way I can optimize it? It's like 4 damage is a guaranteed kill on something. Actually, Fire and Forget is amazing for blocking the spawns. So, Archimedes single-handedly could probably block those spawns by himself if I do this right. I have two uses as a cannon. If they clump up, this shrapnel is going to be amazing. And I kind of can pull it off a tiny bit. Do I swap the damage, though? I don't think I do just yet. So let's do this. I think Archimedes can do it by himself. And I can do at least some damage to soften them up, soften them up with the drop. There's a lot of alphas, though. I wonder if he immediately burrows if I damage him. And he's out of the equation for this turn. I'm really interested to see. But... Yeah, the big downside though is my artillery mech only has 3 movement currently, so that's a big potential liability with the at least using them to block spawns. Now, where's safer to put my artillery? Probably up here, I want to argue, since there's so many of them down here. I have smoke pellets as an amazing way to kind of crowd control this sum. I need you down here though, Abe. Do I? Do I really need you down there? You have four move. One, two, three. F so you got plenty of move there. One, two, three, four. I think you're fine. Where you are right there. Well, it got rid of the worm, but is he going to come back immediately? Does that do me no favors? Oh, he's completely... G oh, I was going to say, he's... I was hoping he was completely gone for a turn. So, this is an easy solution here. I can't push him, but I can cause smoke everywhere. Stop two attacks on buildings. I like this. And it does two damage to him as well, keep in mind, so. And we need to block him, and he's just... Well, he's not going to finish because he doesn't take damage until later. So my artillery is not going to get to block what I, I want of him. I gotta really make sure I make a big play of sorts. Oh, I want to get you out of the way of the Alpha. I would love to use a shrapnel there, but that would damage the buildings. And you immediately block, dodge his attack, so... So he's dead. They're cancelled their damage. Now this artillery... Four damage, he's dead. Oh, I, did, I downgrade the damage, didn't I? Okay, so that explains that, but it's close to death, so it's good enough, too. So. He's almost dead, at least. I just gotta put him in a storm of some kind. And, ooh, I forgot about the hit and run. Gotta find a better position for you, though. You're down. You all take damage. It protects the buildings decently enough. Not perfectly, mind you. Okay, Werner's back there. He's attacking the building again. But he dies to another storm of some kind. Or even just an aerial attack. So, I gotta block the fact that's gonna be annoying to do. Because you die, I could push you. Hmm, I, am I willing to take some grid damage here? Because I'm not going to stop all of these because I didn't really succeed in killing anything. And since they're only spawning one at a time, I kind of need to block this this turn, don't I? I'm really hoping there's an extra spawn. Oh wait, if I block this, I could block two next turns, so... And I have the shrapnel gun. Can I use that in any good way? If only there was something here. I just came up with the most ridiculous idea, but I don't think it's actually helping me. 
because it involves me putting Abe here and hitting him with the shrapnel cannon. It sounds like a stupid idea because he can't do anything to help contribute. He can push them though. I like that idea. That's just as effective. Now... I don't think there's any way I could protect this as well as I like. Unless there was some way I can hit that. We'll still block the spawn. I may be forced to take this grid damage. Oh, there's grid damage everywhere, t to be honest, so... Ooh, this is brutal. I can recover from it still, and there's might be resist, so... This may not be as bad as I make it sound. You know what? I think I just smoke... Can I just smoke these and... Well, that's not gonna kill them. It's the only problem. I don't think it actually helps me as much as I'm thinking. Whereas if I push, it at least kills the alpha here. Oh, I do have hit and run though, but... That... Hmm, I don't think that helps me a lot, especially when they do three damage to everything. So, how do I best do this here? Because I want to kill you, since they're both attacking the same thing, so let's minimize the damage, I guess. Hmm. So if I kill you, we're okay. And you get a hit and run trait. Since sadly they're both hitting the same thing anyway, so... G5. Hmm. G5 is actually the power plant itself, but behind it... Yeah, I'm, co I'm condemning this thing to death, but I am curious about something, though. Yeah. This thing is going to kill the building first, and then this thing, I'm hoping, kills the worm. Unless it resists, as funny as it sounds. I don't like it that I'm sacrificing grid, but we're in good shape as far as later on. Oh, that's kind of a downside. Unless I block it again. It's happening again, isn't it? It's happening again. Now, if I somehow win this, I'm going to feel like I don't deserve it. It didn't kill anything either, which is a bit of a problem. Ooh, and I could block that spawn easily enough and kill you at the same time. I got some damn lucky, but again, we're almost maxed out on the grid defense we can get. Well, not really, honestly. Our pilots are giving us like nine, nine grid defense. But, you are dead. Oh, I forgot about this problem here. I could kill that, though, but I do need to block two of these. Yeah, Ganna is going to die if I don't do something about him. Because that at least dies. Hmm. I do have a reset, though. How to best do this? Because sadly he's a bit of a pain, I can't move the intercept now. And I do kind of need to block two burrows to get the perfect spawn, so... Or perfect, uh, I, at least the perfect bonus here, so... What was... what would my artillery do? Probably kill this thing. That's a pain in the ass. It could also try and kill this thing here. Hmm. So if I kill this thing, we... Uh, I forget what that dang worm was actually... The one... Th oh wait, I did kill it already, didn't I? Damn it, I forget what the start of this turn was. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. So you have hit and run. Yeah, I can kill you. Free our mech. Now, I gotta keep this in mind because I need to block two spawns, too. 
but I think I'm willing to take grid defense considering how lucky we just got. I got to think about this properly. I can't go there. That doesn't help me and you only have three moves. So one, two, three. If you had four, I could probably get both these. Sort of. So we are free and we can at least kill this thing. We kind of have to to protect it. And I do have to block two spawns for the bonus, so I think I have to let this go again and tempt my luck. That was rough. That was definitely rough. Oh my god. It is a 1 in 3 chance, mind you, but still, I don't feel like I deserve a victory now. Now... What's the turn order here? You go first, so if I can do at least two damage to you, which is easy enough. So where can you go? Gonna, you have four moves so you can go here and be safe from harm. And I can fire on you, you instantly die actually, so. Hmm. So you would- that would be four damage there. Yeah, I could just strip kill him, so... It's just as good either way, I suppose. Well... I don't know- I don't know what to make of this mission. In all seriousness. Do I deserve this victory? I hate to rely on luck. But it does make things better, considering I messed up so much earlier. It was easy and or lucky. Now, we need to figure out how to get experience for Abe, mind you. I may have to switch him out. Since this is, after all, the last island. I want to get him maxed out before that. And we got you promoted, so... You got a reactor. Yeah, I like this idea. Because the pulse mech's still useful with the preemptive strike. So I think I might do that. So swap them out, that way we can get an opportunity for Abe to get some experience, he was hoping. And we get an extra core, immediately the supply is on preemptive strike. So that's not an issue at all. I have no cores there. Oh, I do have one here, what do I put it on? Hmm. I kind of am tempted to put extra damage on the shrapnel cannon. To be honest, so make it a lot more powerful. Mind you, I only get to use it once, but when it hits, it's going to hit hard. Now, what are the other two things to do? Because my big concern also is my health pool is really bad. But I think Abe, if he gets to his level 3, he's going to get plus 2 health, I think. So that might alleviate my concern. So we made with the big one. Now, which... Would I prefer here? Three grid damage? Well, considering that last mission, that should be easy, right? Batteries and less than four damage. So four unknowns, acid on the ground. What the hell is this? Oh, they're teleporters. I have no idea how that's going to work, so I think I'm not going to do that just due to lack of experience and my voice is breaking. Let's end this quickly. <clears throat> My voice is breaking, we can't have that now. Not live on stream, people are going to laugh at me. Especially since I'm going to be forced to put this on YouTube afterwards. So let's try this one. We could push them into the acid for some really big damage. Not when half of them are immovable. These are like the worst units for like the acid map, I think. Well, really they're bad for anything that it falls putting them onto the terrain effects for the island, so... Abe, we want you to do a lot of damage. I kind of am tempted, Archimedes, to put you in back to give you a little more freedom of movement, but your hit and run is going to be so amazing for blocking effect 2. And we found out the hard way, 
Eh, soldier sign, I forget what your trait is. Plus one HP, so you are annoying, but I can abuse that some too. What do I want to do damage to? Because I like to block you. It's not going to happen due to your placement. Why am I even trying to damage the Scion? Because if I just put a smoke screen on it, it's just going to die to that. So, let's try and cripple these things that are a real threat. Ooh, and a pod. Perfect. I'll happily take a pod. Especially for an extra core. You're annoying, but you're dead. I can bump you into him, but he has yet to attack. So, I think I kind of know what I want to do here. Or I could just smoke screen to deny both these. I think I could smoke screen because that kills the Scion. It, you basically lose three health. And it protects this one building too. Win-win in almost every regard. Now, I can grab you, I can hit you hard. And then I can artillery him. Or would it be better to have the plane attack? I'm just trying to think of where I can put a smoke screen to help protect the buildings from any melee attacks. Which I don't think I can think of any, to be honest. So just attack him, get him out of the equation, and just give us more smoke, I guess. Oh, and hit and run. Which, we're safe from our own lightning effects, so that's fine. So let's just obscure the path, because they cannot go diagonally, so they're forced to either go up or attack this building, which they at least the scorpion can't attack. Let alone, I don't even think the scorpion can even reach it this turn. Oh, never mind. The scion's dead, so he probably could reach it. The horn's going to be a pain, but he's in a really bad spot regardless. Look who returns. No, I didn't destroy the pod I collected. It shows on the objectives. My jet walked on it before doing the attack on the burrower. So we're safe, don't worry. And this is a safe play to do. This is even safer. Look at that damage potential. And the music gets dramatic at the same time. I love it. Is this the right play, though? I think it is. But if I could get the jet to go here, one, two, three, four, I kill him as well. Oh, he falls back. Never mind. That's a bad idea. Kill these two. Now, smoke is blocking, so I have to deal with you. I like this potential. It doesn't quite kill him, but it kills the Hornet. And it deals with other problems at the same time. I gotta keep in mind the damage, though. So, do I really want to block with two? I don't think I actually want to. So let's move our hit and run back to a better spot. And just block only one. Because you know this effect down here can't do crap. Yeah, no damage so far, but I'm referring to the objective. The repair I don't think even counts towards that. We'll find out when I get a chance to repair. Yeah, there is still one Vec. Keep in mind the Tunneler. I'm just cautious about this dang thing here, the objective. Oh, it does work? Okay. Well, either way, it's only one Vec there and he's easily fried. So damn close, but... How much damage do I have to do with smoke? I only did 4 damage, so there's no way I'm gonna kill... Get my 12 damage, alas. Not on this mission, anyway. So, we got ourselves a level, mech reactor, mech reactor, perfect. So, let's just try, oh wait, I forgot, you're not uh, Camila. I think I'm putting you in acid unless I want to push, well, you're going acid either way, I suppose. Try and build up the damage some. And I am kind of willing to... Yeah, because this Vec can't do crap right now. There's so much smoke in the way. He has to go over here or just take lightning. It's kind of funny. 
Actually, let's put more smoke on the ground. Let's smoke up this entire place, see what they can do about it. Now we're just being... Now we're just trolling the feck, aren't we? So Alpha, he's a bit of noise. He found a spot to hide in. He's an artillery unit, so... So this is going to be a little bit awful, awkward. So let's see. Hmm. So if I kill him, I could smoke him, but don't think I could kill this one though. I do have hit and run, but I don't think that helps me in this regard because of placement. Because I can't get there. Yeah, both the artillery is going to hit that. He only hits a single one, but Abe is going to die because of lack of health. So yeah, maybe I should have blocked those spawns there, because this is pretty much as a result of that. I was trying to go for the dang achievement, so... Probably was not worth it in this case. But I can at least kill this one off and my flyer can just jump in the position and stop one. Sort of, hmm. Yeah, I definitely did it to myself here. I'm willing to admit that, but... We've been doing so well, it feels like, even with the mix-up, so... How do we minimize the damage? Because both these are three grid total. So... Hmm. And if I can get up there... Then I could smoke one of them, but I can't. <clears throat> And pushing you back does not help me at all. <laughs> hmm. Not anyway, so let's try and kill him. That's the only thing I don't like here. Is be well, I do kill him. And I could smoke him, so it's the same result regardless, actually. Yeah, I have gotten lucky. I expect one of these to possibly uh, resist. It's, there's a really damn good chance of one of them resisting. But I did to myself. I'm, I'm willing to admit that. Now, moment of truth. Okay, the two grids survived, so that was incredibly minor damage. Considering. So yeah, we'll have to stop playing her with our food now. I learned my lesson. Falcon can. I don't think that's really helpful for me. But I can also always donate it for more cores. Mech reactor. Now how is Abe's doing? He's doing well. He might get it by the time we fight the leader. Or when we fight the leader at least. So what do I do with this one core? I would like the extra damage on the artillery, but extra range on the smoke could be good too, as well as an extra use. And movement is a concern for the hit and run. But how many cores are infesting him right now? Oh, he's already got a core because he's been promoted, so it's just a question if I want the damage. We'll give him the move, and then we'll get our extra use out of the shrapnel cannon. And we have very little cores on our poor little pulse mech. It's still working well there. I would love to get the shield friendly option for the repulse though. It's kind of tricky to get the shield considering if they're a melee unit they're already standing next to the building. So I can't shield the building and push them at the same time. Ooh, this is our big one. This might be problematic with five to start off with. And I have to defend the train too, that's gonna get awkward. That's going to get really awkward. I just have to protect the defense lab for the core, though. 
And how many missions did we do? We just did two, so why not save this for last, honestly? Destroy the acid fast, so we have to destroy these things. I don't know how much health they have, though. What about this one? Alright, let's try the fats. Let's get that done. You have four move, Abe. Or four move, yeah. You have a shrapnel can, which will be great for killing these if effect is next to it. We just gotta discourage the effect from attacking these somehow. And you have hit and run, so this might be good for you. Drop down, kill a scion. Do one damage to that already, but I don't think that's actually useful. A size for if I push effect into it. Which the only realistic situation I'm gonna have is if the effect's already attacking it. Because I can't push effect here if it's attacking this building because it's damn water. Unless I want to stand asset. Hmm. And I don't need to hit the scion because if I use a smoke it's dead anyway. I think I just try and damage these two here. It's not very helpful mind you, but it helps to soften them up. It would be so much more useful. Ooh, another pod. We're doing good on the pods now. Lots of cores, please. You're an asset. I don't think the storm actually doubles the damage, mind you, so that's probably not as useful as I think. Ooh, but we can stop a burrower. We deny these attacks here. I love this start. Let's not lose focus of the objective, though. We need to deal with these, and my airstrike can easily do that. If I can get a shrapnel can shot on this, that would be perfect. But we'll have to worry about that when the situation, when it presents itself. And if anything, my artillery could just shoot this first one. So let's start off with that, shall we? Ooh, my. That I was not expecting. Turned the entire thing into asset. That could have been useful no there. Could have... Could have looked for an opportunity to push it more into the middle, maybe. Oh, and hit and run, I forgot about you. So let's just obscure the movement a tiny bit. Not much, but at least makes it more awkward for the effect here's hoping. At least for this one artillery unit here. Because he's only got one hex he can go. Yep. He is being an annoying artillery unit, mind you, but we could stop both of them at the same time. That is really awkward, though. That is really damn awkward, but we could deal with them at the same time. I was hoping to deal with these two. Yeah, because my aircraft can't deal with that. Ooh, actually I'm wrong. I keep forgetting I'm wrong. I thank god I'm remembering the shrapnel can, though. Ooh. That is gonna suck. I have to move into a better position, that's what. But it pushes them. It is only a single grid, so it is kind of worth taking anyway. Do you have a better option? I shoot him, he takes three damage, he pushes into him. They both die, but I have nothing for this one. He's a nightmare. A lot of it, of course, because of the smoke that I put down. Not much I could do about that, but... This is better crowd control management, it kills both of them. Don't like it, mind you, but it's only a single grid. Oh my. I'm getting so damn lucky. Trust me, luck's never on my side. That's why I'm irritated. Now. We do need to deal with this, I wonder... Will that die to the lightning storm effect, though? If I were to put in our smoke in. Actually, I don't need to. I can push it. We'll see if it actually dies to the lightning or not. Yeah, it does. Perfect. No, I don't have upgrade range just yet. That would have been actually been useful there. Now that you mention it. But, we have more cores. We could probably get that next. But I'm getting so damn lucky with those damn things. So you're dead, you pu get pushed into the asset. You are a little bit of a noise, but we can ma deal with you. Gotta be careful of that I'm walking asset. 
And I could push you in. Ooh, I could push you in acid and smoke, so you're dead, actually. Now, we'll just block, I suppose. And we'll see if Abe actually reduces damage with his armor or not. And he is close to getting his uh, max level in. I'm excited. Oh! Did he just- oh no, I thought he got more experience from blocking though, that's just uh, his icon changing him being critical status. So I push you and then we easily deal with him. Simple solution here. I can even just shoot you into the acid and thunder and you die. And then just damage him, he goes away. Doesn't take the Sunder damage, mind you, but he goes away. There, that was simple. Ooh, we got the tw we got the achievement that I wasn't expecting. I wasn't aiming for it this time too. All right, so we're looking really damn good. Where do we get in the pod? Light a light tank, and let's see. It just pushes, it looks like, until I upgrade it. The problem is... I don't think I really like these additional units there. It doesn't synergize, at least, if nothing else. Now... We have to, we have a core... Let's get that range, I suppose. Because that actually would have been useful in that mission, I'm not gonna lie. A lot more flexible, at least, if nothing else. Now... Anything else I want to swap out or change around? I think we're looking good. I really need to put something onto this dang uh, pulse mech, at least some health. And Abe is almost leveled up, so he's probably going to get his health if I remember correctly. Let's give this a try. We're doing well somehow, but that might change. And that's a bad spot to drop in, because I don't think I want to get acid on my mech, so... Preemptive Strike is not really helpful here. Hmm. I do have hit and run, so let's keep that as an option. So, where do I put you though? Well, you have four move, you can go almost anywhere you wish. Oh, I can't even drop there because of the asset. That's interesting. So, what do I want to damage most? You have six, you have six, five, and six. So, a lot of health on these damn things. A lot of damn health. What do I want to prioritize? I honestly don't know. If I could hit multiples of them, that would be good. But at least the pulse mech's in a good spot where it can maybe push some of the artillery units out of the way. The building layout doesn't encourage it, though. Since they're double stacked for the artillery. Kind of like that. But at least they're making it easy for me to kill them with direct attacks. And I'm gonna have to just shoot you with something. And I know I know for a fact friendly units are not affected by the lightning, so we're okay here. So they're easy kills. Hmm. And I can't get there to kind of well that would I could get there to block two attacks, but then I get hit by a train. Well, this is an awkward start. Hmm, is it though? Let me check something for a moment. Uh, that's gonna push this into the dang thing, so that sucks. And if I shoot the shrapnel cannon at this thing, then it hits the train. So maybe I'm wrong about the value of shrapnel cannon. It is becoming a bit of a liability. Ooh, unless... Unless I do it like this. That is much better. Let me just undo all my moves first. So that way I can move my artillery again. This is much better. Doesn't quite kill the Scion, which makes me really bad. I... Really upset I didn't do the strike the drop on it. 
If only I knew this was coming, mind you. If I had that window, I would have thought about it, but Abe is leveled up. Oh, he's got a mech reactor, so he doesn't have health, but the, that reactor is basically to health. Now, how to best do this? Well, that's, e that's easy enough to do. If only I could shoot at the Scion and push him into the worm. That's the dream scenario for me, and actually... How much damage do I do? Three damage, so not enough to kill him, but I can still smoke him for two. Oh, this is the best I could ask for, actually. It's not as much damage as I would like, mind you, but... There. Problem solved. Problem solved. And he, he basically loses the health because of the Scion. I forgot about that. Now, oh please stand together for me. We got a new toy that we can utilize for that. Ah, just one hex off. And that cloud's kind of in the way, too. But, let's see. This works just as good. This is just as effective. So, just jump around. Extra smoke for good measure, because why not? Repair. There. Oh, and we have hit and run. Let me put you back in the middle for a more, little more flexibility. And we only have two effect to worry about next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I keep forgetting about you. I can kill you, but I keep forgetting about you. Hmm. Three targets, three attacks on things I need to worry about. Because I can smoke, that doesn't stop two of them as much as I would love it. Oh, I, who am I kidding? I can easily deal with this problem. So let's do it. You're out of the equation. Just deal with you. And just deal with him and you're dead anyway. And everyone's leveled up so I don't need to worry about kills, in all honesty. There. We got this. Another perfect island, potentially. And we have another core. Alright, one more time. And we got a promotion, so I'm going to have to swap Abe out to the Pulse Mech, because he's better on that. At least it, since this thing's more of a tanky unit, I don't think... Or was it? Uh, Ghana is very good in that. Do I want to swap these two out? Oh, not for an artillery mech, mind you. I still question the value of Fire Forget on an artillery mech, but it's been useful. So, let's reestablish ourselves. We got cores. I still would love the shield friendly there. But I don't think I'm going to get very many opportunities where I get to shield a building as well as push a target out of the way. That's my main concern with this. I don't need ally immune. Not so much, anyway. Health is kind of necessary, though, at least for this. Especially with his armor. He could take a lot of damage. Now... I really kind of want to max out your damage for this fight here, Archimedes, I'm not gonna lie. And then after that we can see about optimizing my cores, because we're getting damn... Well, I was gonna say getting maxed out, but... My poor Pulse Max getting neglected, isn't it? The poor thing. It's still damn good as is. Oh, we have power up here too. Extra use, please. I still quite... I'm starting to regret maybe using a shrapnel camp, but we've been getting good use out of it every now and then. It's just a little more awkward than I originally thought. So... The beetle leader, he should not be an issue there. We could just keep smoking him, but I would like to kill him quickly, too. And they're all spawned right next to the corporate tower, so I think we know where they're gonna be going. They're more than likely going to be attacking that. Artillery, I just got to keep in mind, Ghana doesn't have the best... 
Oh, I didn't power his uh, preemptive drop. I kind of forgot about that. Which is kind of okay, considering the sheer amount of health we're dealing with here. If I had, I guess, but that was another oversight. So, Archimedes, you hanging back there. It still works out well. It's not like I don't have any cores. Or it's not like I have any cores I'm not using right now. It's just being utilized differently. Now, unfortunately, I don't think Archimedes can block that. He has three move, actually, so he could. So, first impression, just range attack right over here. That's my first impression, at least. So, I can shoot this uh, beetle. I gotta keep in mind that he is still gonna charge me. So, let's not get too aggressive on that just yet. Shrapnel can doesn't do much there. I can free him from the scorpion. I don't even need to worry about two of these guys, so... You, however, I do need to worry about. Hmm. I think I just go for the smoke. How much damage would you do? Oh, you cause fire, apparently, too, wherever you go. And light every tile in the path on fire. But not the tile that he hits. So I would only theoretically take two damage here. I think I'm okay with that, to be honest. If I do Hmm. I'm just thinking, is it worth delaying two spawns? Let me just do two damage to him instead. I think I'm okay just dealing with one reinforcement, because I'm planning on going here and shooting this thing. And we got extra smoke, and that actually conveniently protects the corporate building somewhat. Actually, let me move into a better spot here. Protect this one building. That's completely safe from harm. We got hit and run for maybe a, a good option next turn for movement. I'm hoping. Can I get to D3? Not Can't get to D3 with this thing here unless I pushed it, but... Hmm. I think this is it's basically as close as it can get to D3. Alright, so they do nothing there, we block a reinforcement. We gotta be mindful of Ghana taking another hit like that though. I can mm, please have one of them stay there. I would love to get a double double hit. Ah, not like that, damn it. That's inconvenient. So where are you attacking? So you can I can ignore you unfortunately cannot, but I can stop two of their attacks. Ah, uh, oh the G field. Oh, hmm. Hard to say there. I can push him though without a doubt. Int. Wait. Ooh, what's the turn order? So they can kill each other for me. Unless he... well, 4 damage, I think he just dies immediately, so... Not that... Mm, he's attacking a building. The corporate building needs to survive. So I'm kind of tempting just smokescreen these two. But of course, if only Archimedes was up here, he could have shot this thing and, did, and killed it off. So this is a little bit of bad placement. Ooh, wait. I like this idea. If I push it, it's not going to hit the corporate building anymore. Can... I can still kill this thing off. Where do I want my lightning cloud, though? Right here should be good. Now, i got to be mindful of my health. I'm not blocking the spawn, though. I think I just... Oh, I, I think I have to let it to attack that, otherwise it's going to hit the building. So, this is a good opportunity to repair. I could do a lot of damage to it still. But I think the repair is more valuable. I might regret it, though. Actually, it's going to light that on fire if I don't push it. So, by all means, light, on, light your own allies on fire, please. And I can hit and run with you. I keep forgetting about that. 
So they're all going to spawn down here, so make your way up here, Archimedes. Make yourself useful. I kind of now kind of wish that it shot its own ally before the beetle leader ch charged. But oh well, can't have everything. You're annoying, but we can easily push you into smoke. Oh no, I don't need to do that. We're finally getting value of our, out of our range. And they're both dead. How is that? You are also dead. Good riddance. Now, I could push you for show, but I don't need to do that. And hit and run, just get back to a better spot. We got this. We got this perfectly. A scion that's lit on fire. And a scorpion we don't care about. And it doesn't matter how we do this, really. It's just a shame. I can't shoot the opposite direction because I'm too close to the border of the map. I was thinking maybe just putting smoke on them. Oh well. And you're already dead. But I can't conveniently can't quite get at you because I have too much smoke. It's hindering my own attacks. But... Let's see, you have three moves, you can't actually attack anything, so... Oh well. I know what to do here. We could kill everything just for good measure. Uh, I thought it was kill- Oh yeah, we are killing everything because of the smoke. Very nice, very nice. I'm really liking the squad, although... I think I may be overdoing it on the smoke screen some. It's starting to hinder me more than the fact I feel like. Now, let's finish this up, shall we? Perspero. A mech gains flying, that's kind of convenient. I like the potential of it. Because all of them are... Hmm. I don't think I need Perspero, though. And how much overcharge? We still have plenty of overcharge to do, so let's take that. Now, 8 reputation. Let's donate some stuff. I don't think we need the light tank, alas. I know people are fond of the adorable little tiny uh, support units. Vortex Fist. I don't, we don't have a prime unit anyway, so that doesn't matter. Could I optimize this better, though? I do love the shrapnel camp, but I'm worried I may be just biased. Hmm. And the only thing I really hate about these things is it takes up my entire turn. But if I get enough cores to make it do damage, that's not an issue anymore. Hmm. Ooh, hydraulic legs. Oh yeah, I don't need any of these things, do I? To push this tiles around the target. That's an interesting ability. I could shoot at a building. But I think we try and get as many cores as possible. I'm sorry, Isaac. I think we're gonna go. We could get four cores out of this. Is that what I want to do, though? Because I don't want to overcharge the grid. Might be silly, but we did it anyway. So, preemptive strike is in. We got health for Abe. This is a good opportunity to get him extra utility, too. Let's think on this pro properly, though. Because I want more mobility for something that's an air unit that could crowd control multiple, multiple people. Yeah, I needed her and I killed her. That's the problem there. This would have been an amazing squad if I kept her. <laughs> I could get her back for another playthrough, preferably without getting her killed. So I think I want the movement for this thing. I do love the health though, because if I'm going to block thing, I hate having myself in an awkward position where Ghana's at, at one health. So I don't think I need to move, but at least I have one core available. I'm going to commit to that. Let's see, Archimedes. I think the movement is really important for your fire and forget. You have three health, so you're a little more lenient. And I can get away. Hmm. I need at least two cores if I want the shield friendly. Oh, actually, I, I got four cores. I put one on him. So yeah, I think we can do this. One core on Archimedes and two for Abe. 
to give him the shield to friendlies. This will be tricky to use, especially for the final mission, mind you. The shield self? That probably is more practical in all honesty. That's probably more practical. I was thinking more to shield friendly, but I, can, I see what you mean there. Because it sets them up so nicely for next turn to block an attack. Where shield friendly is, like I said before, I, it's really tricky to shield like a building or allies while stopping an attack. So I agree. After hearing the opinion. Archimedes, I believe, needs that extra movement though to get full advantage of his fire and forget. And I want the health on Ghana. He's got four mobility. I hope it's enough. I really hope it's enough. But we got a lot of power grid though. 37%. Now let's end off the stream, shall we? It's already running late. I need to get some sleep for tomorrow. So, Ghana, you're here. Archimedes, you can go pretty much anywhere you want, almost, so let's have you here. And five movement on Abe's uh, mech. So we're looking decent. Alright, so... Where is the lane? Where were they? Ooh, this is gonna be scary. These two beetles can easily take out both these if I'm not careful. They're already attacking both of them, so that's not fair. You I can ignore, though. Ooh, Archimedes is in a perfect spot, though. Now, I am curious. Abe can go here if I were to somehow push it over. But I don't think I want to do that, because I think I just killed... Oh, I'm too close, so that's not as good as I thought. I can push it over, but... And then smokescreen... Is that what I want to do? He's dead no matter what, so I don't need to do that. I push him onto a burrow, or emerging fact he's dealt with instantly. And I get to move to somewhere a little bit better. So I think Archimedes just blocks this path, so that way they have to go down here, funnel them into a better space for my smoke screen. That's the hope anyway. I kind of would love to have uh, Abe also block a spawn, but I don't think I want a smoke screen. Actually, I could get away with smoke here. This is perfect. I just, I'm hoping this recharges for a second phase. So, everything's denied or moved out of the way. So we're looking good here. Promising start. And these buildings are incredibly safe, at least for melee. And I'm blocking all the paths they can move through. Outside this one hornet. There we go. So these hornets are the only tr problematic type of units. Mm, he might be a bit problematic too. Yeah, that hornet's definitely problematic, but I have the movement for it. I am not going to get lit on fire if I fly over this, right? Thankfully not. So that's good to know. Let's hang on to that for later. Because I could just shoot you and you're out of the equation. Archimedes can shoot this hornet if that's what I want to do. Hmm. I could just push you into the water. But Abe can't reach there. Yeah, he can't reach there because of the structure placement. So I may have to deal with it the old-fashioned way. Oh, and we have fire coming in there. It's a good thing I saw that because that's obscured by all the f dang uh, smoke. So I need to keep that in mind. Yeah, even uh, Archimedes is on there. So I think Archimedes goes over here. Deals with our Hornet then. You can push him easily into the smoke and he's dealt with. He dies to the environmental effects there. And Ghana could just jump over here. He doesn't need to jump the full distance. So, I think this is what we're committing to. We're going to have a lot of spawning units, but it's not like I could block that very well anyway, even with this Hornet. 
Oh, Ark. I'm forgetting. Archimedes got hit and run. Or. I forget what the ability's called already, but he's got a shield, so that opens up opportunities. So, we're. I. Unfortunately. Does have. The fire just only lights the ground on fire. I don't think it destroys that burrow. Yeah, it just lights on fire, which is kind of good. It makes him a little bit weaker, if nothing else. It got rid of my smoke cloud, though, which I'm not fond of. Now, more lava, not a concern. You are going to be a, ba a pain in the butt, though. Hmm. I can also ignore you, too, conveniently. Yeah, let's see. You one doing one damage there. You two. Oh yeah, I have to deal with that, which I can do. I actually can do that. Do I have a better option though? I could jump there, but it lights me on fire. I don't like it. If only I had my smoke still there, that thing would already be dead. The fire had to clear it out. And this guy is a bit of a pain in the ass, needless to say. And of course, Abe's in a really bad spot. He can block a burrow. He could block a burrow with his shield at least, so... Ooh, I can still push that beetle. If not... Ah, it's a smoke. Who am I kidding? If only the smoke was still there, and I don't want to create another one. It is only one point of grid damage. I think I'm okay with that. Ooh, I have a better idea. I didn't think about this. Oh, crap. I was going to say it was a good idea, and then it damages the actual grid. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm starting to see the... the liability behind the... the smoke. So Archimedes can't really go anywhere all that useful. I have a shield, so I can... Well, that doesn't... That push does nothing for me, actually. Unless I want to put in a smoke screen. Oh, you do two damage to each other, too, so that's kind of helpful. Not much, mind you, but it's helpful. Still want to know what to do with you. I think I can... Only thing I can think of is just repair, because this is a really awkward placement for all the fact, if nothing else. And I only take one point of grid damage, potentially. Oh, who am I? Uh, I was. I kind of keep remembering. I have that shrapnel can too. Can I use it for it in any way? If I'm willing to take one fire damage, I can hit. Mm. That would require reset since I already shot. So I gotta remember I have that damn thing. But it is only one grid damage I'm willing to take it. So, let's end our turn here. We should be okay, they damage each other to an extent. And we only have one more turn. Sadly, we didn't resist it that time. But it was the least to worry about. So, gotta be careful Archimedes' health. So I could kill you easily, and I kind of have to kill you, because I think I'm going to take the one health point damage. This is a really bad spot, though, for Archimedes, but... I could still move. And that's rocks there, I don't care about the rocks. But this thing's gonna kill me. Ooh, I think I know what to do. What? And you're dead. You're not a concern. I push you. And, well, who am I kidding? This is the final turn, so let's minimize our damage. So this thing has to die. And then we just push this thing. So yeah. Let's follow through with this, shall we? Hopefully I get my health back up, but... Let's just smoke everything, shall we? 
get ourselves start getting a little fancy and fire damage is immediate so just push this into the fire there and we're in the water so there's no way the fire can kill us right it's killing my smoke though which I'm not happy about but that's the first phase done I'm hoping my my ex actually get repaired though for this phase because I don't want them crippled already and we got our beetle leader to worry about now comes the tough part all right bring down the bomb let's get this going goodbye I always love when they knock one of them out of the equation. Now... Oh, he's massive, but... Doesn't this cancel his attack, though, anyway? I'm getting distracted, though. It behaves like water. I know he's massive, but this should cancel his attack, right? That's what I'm thinking, I just don't want to tempt it at the same time. Ooh. You talk about the pylon placement, but we got an easy solution to an extent. At least for these two. You are a pain in the butt. But you only have two health, too. I gotta really think on how to best optimize this. Because Ghana can't get in there very well. It is only doing one grid damage, mind you, and one damage to the bomb, so I could forfeit that if I'm comfortable with it. But this deals with two attacks. If nothing else, I like it. I just don't want to commit to it just yet until I can think of some, figure out my attack plan. Because what do you do? You also have hit and run there. And I'm going to turn off the, my, the notifications of gain all of a sudden there, so let's not have that running into the stream if possible. Now, where was I before I got distracted? I'm tempted to shoot this and then use Archimedes to block one of these spawns here. And it also smokes our scorpion friend. I don't know what to do with Abe though. Unless I... I could kill that thing immediately, can I? I actually could kill this thing with a, if I'm willing to create some smoke. It wouldn't be the best position, I'd rather put the smoke here, but... I like to set up better. Because this thing dies immediately. And I think I take the one hit on here. I don't like it. But killing this guy will be a big deal. Now, let's block this one here because it's a little bit closer and Archimedes also protects this pylon. I don't know what the hell to do with you, though. Aside for stopping that attack. I keep forgetting about the shrapnel cannon, too. Because I could do that here, but oh, that would do damage to the core or the grid, so let's not do that. So, that is dead. So, we only take one point of damage on the bomb. One point of damage. Yeah, it's like the... It's what I'm least worried about, though, because it's only doing one point of damage. And, let's see, we are blocking one effect. These two are dead. So, I think this is a good constellation. A good compromise. He's still alive, though. I forgot about our scorpion. Now, gotta keep in mind the tentacles, they're all gonna be down here. Annoying, but it's only one grid. Now, let's see. He's kind of. I could kind of kill him with. Well, actually, I could only kill him with the artillery, and I just blocked off all my path. But again, he's only doing one damage. Unless I can get Abe up here to push. 
into that clear path, because that's amazing potential there. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out how to utilize the shrapnel cannon. Because this looks like a good opportunity for it and I block a spawn. I do take one damage on this thing. I hate that it pushes everything though. And we got tentacle spawns so I can shoot you. And I can also shoot you. Which I think I like better. Hmm. Bit of an awkward placement. I have more smoke to utilize too. Now. I can kill him, do damage to him. That creates an opening here of some kind I can use. Not much of one though. Or actually, maybe it does. Do I have the movement? One, two, three, four, not quite, damn it. Hmm. I had a thought, but the shrapnel can's not gonna push this thing back. Is it? It only pushes those three grids. I thought maybe the shrapnel can could hit this thing when it gets pushed back and push them or do four, three damage to it. Not really the case. I do need to move without a doubt, though. I'm willing to take another point of damage on the bomb, but let's be careful about constantly taking a point of damage. But I can easily deal with you just by pushing you. I would like a better alternative, though. But you are dead. Do I want more smoke? I would love a smoke on the bomb. This protects the building nicely. We can block this spawn here. We do take one point of damage on the bomb and a grid, but I'm okay with this. And with hit and run, do I really want to take another point of damage on Archimedes though? That's the one thing I'm a little bit uncertain of. And I could push it, but that's going to then do two damage unless I want to smoke. I was thinking maybe using Repulsor to get a shield, but let's hang on to that for now. I don't like putting Archimedes in such a fragile state, but he should be able to handle it. And I resist it. Again, it was only a point of grid damage, so I'm fine with that. I do need to watch this thing, because the if I push it into a cloud, it's going to die now. So, we have lots of feck emerging. I can forget about you for now. And I gotta keep my Abe's shield too. And they're only low health minions, so if I can get a repair on Archimedes, that'd be great. I think I want Archimedes to repair this turn, because this completely blocks off the path. Oh no, that's rocks. Never mind. For some reason I thought that would turn to lava. So instead, maybe Archimedes goes here and blocks off this one feck. Oh, he can still move. I should I should seriously consider that, though, because it's not like he can get to a good advantageous spot going this way. And to at least get a shot. So I'm second-guessing that. And there are rocks here, so Abe's has to move. Without a doubt. And I should have gone with Abe first so he could have pushed this thing out of the way, but we can still kill it. Can I move that better though? Yeah, I can move that better. I can at least do some damage. Well, let's block the spawns actually, with that said. And I can smoke this building and protect it a little bit, but I'd rather do damage as well. So Abe, just repair yourself. We're gonna try and 
just sl take slow grid damage. And this resistance working out amazingly too. We got a lot of alphas though. If you're only seeing attacking the bomb, I'm fine with it. You are a pain in the butt though. So I'm gonna have to push you and I have an easy answer for it. I thought I did, but I don't actually, because the movement's not going to allow for it. I do have what fire and forget. I was hoping to maybe push you. And I gotta keep in mind this Scion as well is going to be annoying. So you're attacking one grid. You're attacking the grid as well, but that's not going to matter if they both attack. It's this bomb that needs to live. And you're going to be a pain in the ass, so... Hmm. This thing needs to die if this bomb's going to survive, though. Without a doubt. How do I kill this thing off, or at least minimize? Because I would love to just put smoke on it. Can I clear this out? Because all yeah, three of them are attacking this one grid. I'm fine with that. Now, if I shoot, can Abe get the movement allowed? One, two, three, four. Not really. And it would put him into tentacles too. If only I could get here, that would not be an issue. I am gonna have to... Wait. I could shoot that and can... Actually, where were you? Ah. The smoke's actually being problematic here. I do have shrapnel cans still, though. I keep forgetting about that. That would kill them. It pushes everything, though. It cleaned into the bomb, so that's a scare. But it would kill two of these things. Not quite as much as I would like, though. I, really, what I would want to do is just put a smoke on the thing and shoot the other direction, but due to the close proximity to the border, it's not going to happen. The only other thing I could think of is there's some way I could push this bomb, but I would need to kill this thing. I think what we do is try and kill this off, because again, these three are attacking this one grid. I don't care about that. This is what I care about. Because that can cost me the game there, but there's a really damn good chance that I can block it. And there's no way Abe can actually get to that. Hmm. This is a bad spot here. Because I'm relying on luck here. Because this is the perfect amount of damage to cost me a game. It's what it's coming down to. And I have no way to actually kill this thing. I'm relying a lot on luck here. So yeah, I'm getting a little too carried away from my smoke, I think. I need to be a lot more strategic where I place them is what I'm learning, so... What are my options? Not really much. If I were to be perfectly honest... I'm gonna have to roll the dice there. It is two chances of 37, mind you, so one of them are likely to resist. Do I have any other options, though? Because my airstrike can't hit that. Shrapnel can wouldn't be able to hit. 
because I would need to kill this thing too. But I have, like, I had smoke for that. Can my pulse mech do that? I have another idea, but... It means, I know what this means though. But this is, oh. I know what to do and I don't like it. Scion attack is after a storm. I don't like this idea, I really don't. I hope you can forgive me, Archimedes. We win. I'm pretty certain that's a win, right? We win. Not exactly how I would like to win. It's not in my nature. But it was a guaranteed win that way. The shrapnel gun just won us the game pretty much, or at least got rid of the RNG. If nothing else. So what a way to end off on that, huh? Alright, thank you everyone for watching there. It's starting to get late here, it's already 10.30, I need my sleep. But what a way to end off on that. We sacrifice Archimedes to save the timeline. And I really am tempted to do one more stream of this on hard difficulty. I don't know if I'll have the time to do a complete playthrough, but we won. Although I don't think either of these are really good with the hulking rust bucket, so I think I may just start with a brand new time traveler. I may just get Amila back in for or Camila back in for a, a hard difficulty run, if I were to be honest. But I'll save that for another time. Thank you for watching everyone. I messed up quite a bit, I won't lie, but it at least makes for a very entertaining stream, I like to think.